Um, hey everybody, I just want to take a second to address a few things. Uh, the only reason I haven't before is because I felt like until my sister was able to speak for herself and say what she felt she needed to say publicly, that it wasn't my place and it wasn't the right thing to do. I don't care if she wants to run away to rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere or if she wants to come back and dominate the world the way she has so many times before. Because I have nothing to gain or lose either way. This situation does not affect me either way because I am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness. Her happiness. from without a crystal ball welcome back to my channel it's been one of those days and we are on round three which is an update on britney spears and the whole free britney situation if you missed my videos you can check those out in my britney spears playlist up here so there was a lot that came out last week when britney spoke in front of a court and described what she has just what she believes to be an extremely controlling and dire situation where she has no control of her life and had asked a judge in order to to remove her from this conservatorship that she has been in for 13 years during her 24 or 5 minute speech to the judge or testimony to the judge Brittany said that she wanted to sue her family and really her management team and anyone that was involved in what has happened to her over the last 13 years. The response from her family up until today had been slim to none with only her father in court through an attorney saying that he was sad to hear about her situation and that he loved her very much. There was a article that came out that said Lynn was concerned being that her mother was concerned and now her sister has uploaded a video onto Instagram in response to everything. Now, last week, Jamie Lynn actually turned her comments off because people were posting and responding to her, leaving tons of horrible comments, and she uploaded this in response. Um, hey everybody, I just wanna take a second to address a few things. Uh, the only reason I haven't before is because I felt like until my sister was able to speak for herself and say what she felt she needed to say publicly, that it wasn't my place and it wasn't the right thing to do. Um, but now that she's very clearly spoken and um, said what she needed to say, I feel like I can follow her lead and say what I feel I need to say. I think it's extremely clear that since the day I was born, I've only loved, adored, and supported my sister. I mean, this is my freaking big sister before any of this. I don't care if she wants to run away to rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere or if she wants to come back and dominate the world the way she has so many times before. Because I have nothing to gain or lose either way. This situation does not affect me either way because I am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness. Her happiness. I've made a very conscious choice in my life to only participate in her life as her sister, as an aunt to those boys. Maybe I didn't support her the way the public would like me to with a hashtag on a public platform, but I can assure you that I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag and I'll support her long after. Note that. I mean, I've worked since I was nine years old. I've paid my own freaking bills since I was 10 years old. Not that I owe the public anything because my sister knows I love and support her. And that's the only person I owe anything to. I'm not my family. I am my own person. And I'm speaking for myself. I'm so proud of her for using her voice. I'm so proud of her for requesting new counsel, like I counsel, like I told her to do many years ago. Oh, not on a big public platform, but just in a personal conversation between two sisters. So I'm very proud that she's taken that step. If ending the conservatorship, if flying to Mars or whatever the hell else she wants to do to be happy, I support that. 100% because I support my sister. I love my sister, always have, always will, as long as she's happy. So Jamie says that she supports her sister being happy and she supports her sister running off, I think, to a jungle and having as many kids as she wants 
or maybe going to Mars or going and taking over the world and being the most, you know, amazing star that she is dominating the, the market with her singing and her dancing. But she didn't say that she wanted an end to the conservatorship. She did mention that she supported her sister getting new counsel and suggested that she had recommended to her sister that she get new counsel and that she had been supporting her behind the scenes for a very long time. If you're not, if you're new to the whole Free Britney thing, last year she was, Jamie Lynn was quietly added as a trustee to Britney Spears Trust. So Britney has a trust for her sons that is supposed to be for them when she passes away, as well as to, you know, provide money for her sons for the future. Well, last fall in 2020, she had been, after she had been added, she had made a request to the court to transfer money out of the trust for her sons into accounts that were held by Jamie Lynn Spears. So she wanted the money that was supposed to be for her nephews to be transferred to accounts that were owned by Jamie. It was unclear why she wanted to make that choice and ultimately Jamie rescinded that and withdrew her request. And also people have suggested that since then, Jamie is someone that's benefited financially for, by this because she has made money off of this and by being a trustee and trying to transfer money out of there that she was potentially trying to take money from her sister. An attempt was made to transfer money, but it never went through. So I don't know what the motivations were there and they've never really talked about it publicly. So Jamie seems to be of this like I felt like her response was very like over the like I don't want to say anything but I know I have to say something but she didn't necessarily say that like the conservatorship needs to end and then she also said that she's just been like not wanting to be a part of this conservatorship she's only ever wanted to be a sister and an aunt to her nephews but she was a trustee for a while so that doesn't really make sense to me and she in an indirect way has benefited off of Britney over the years she obviously had a job and worked on Zoe 101 but her fame is a direct result of of her sister it's she was a carbon copy look-alike of her sister and obviously the or Nickelodeon wanted to cash in on that I mean who wouldn't she is gonna say I support this but what's really bizarre is on Friday of last week after Britney gave this harrowing testimony they actually filed a response in court and it was a proposed order so I shared this out on my Instagram and it actually kind of confused people but essentially what happened was her attorney Sam Ingham filed a proposed order in court which basically was from a hearing from last November. So last November, they had a hearing where they were talking about if there was going to be any changes made to the conservatorship. And in the proposed order, it effectively rejects the motion that Brittany had made to remove her father as conservator. So Brittany has wanted her dad moved off of the conservatorship. She has asked the court to remove him. And in the proposed order, that was literally sent to the court two days after she said she wanted to end her term and her conservatorship, they, her mother's attorney, her father's attorney, and her attorneys signed off on a proposed order where her dad would stay as a conservator and nothing would really change. Her dad would still be able to have access to the accounts along with the Bessemer Trust and rejecting this idea that the money and the estate would be transferred to Bessemer Trust. I thought this was odd, but I'm guessing it was a procedural thing that was already in the works that was likely already going to be filed. But knowing that she wants to end this conservatorship, there's a wonder why Sam, her attorney, files this instead of actually filing a motion to end the conservatorship. To date, there has been no end requested by anyone related to the conservatorship. But Brittany, she and her boyfriend Sam jetted off to Hawaii shortly after to take a vacation to relax. So Brittany and Sam were in Hawaii enjoying things, swimming and tanning and enjoying the Hawaiian life. Her parents quietly filed to extend the conservatorship well into 2022, still allow her dad access to all of her money and not change a damn thing. It really bothers me in the situation that First of all, this is such a complex situation and I'm obviously there's things that we don't know about, but it feels like even after she says she wants to sue her family, it's like her family doesn't care. Her sister says, I love her. It's fine. And her family's like, we're going to extend the exter ex um, we're going to extend the conservatorship. This is great, you know, and some of you are kind of 
peed off or some of you are not buying it either. So when I shared her sister's video on my Instagram, you guys had a lot to say. One person said this, how can she actually say that she has nothing to gain from the conservatorship? She is literally being paid. She literally just signed papers to continue it. She must not support her sister having too many babies because of the forced IUD. This is sick. Someone, which is very true. Like how is she support not supporting the conservatorship when she's been a part of the conservatorship? And how does she actually support her sister having babies if she's still, you know, in a way, spending time with her parents and you know her sister admits she can't have babies and she doesn't address any of that. I kind of agree there. This person said this, all I got from her statement was, oh shit, I better speak out now because if I don't, it won't look good for me. She doesn't care about her sister. If she did, as she says in her story, then why did she feel the need to come out with the statement now? If she always supported her but didn't feel the need to do so publicly, then why did she feel she owed the public this bullshit explanation? This is actually a good question. She seemed really defensive in her response and said that she didn't owe us anything as a public in response to this and that she just loved her sister, but it also doesn't answer any questions. It doesn't answer any of the questions about how Brittany said she wants to sue her family or how, you know, the reference to Mars and the jungle makes me feel like this is something where her sister just feels like it's something so impossible. Like we know Brittany's gonna, not gonna run off to a jungle and have children. And that seems like a fairy tale. So I don't really get where she's coming from either. This one said, this is exactly what this person said here. Check this out. How can she compare wanting to be free and live her life, have control over her money that she's worked for and control over her own body, going to a jungle to have babies and living on Mars as if there's something so far-fetched and crazy. She didn't mention to being a trustee or the money she tried to move the money she the money she gets paid my own bills since I, I was 10 my a what bills besides formula did you have to pay for i don't believe or trust her she's still a snake i couldn't and wouldn't stand by so quietly while my family tortures and takes advantage of my sister she's a snake and always has been another person made the same statement as well and said what about her being close to the woman responsible for her sister being in the position and her father? And what about her requesting that money in her nephew's trust to be put under her name in her bank account? Something isn't adding up. And then finally, one person said this, lies, all lies. You never fought for your sister. It may be, it may not be today, but you and your family will go down for what happened to her. If you did care what we thought about you, why did you make this point post? It is true though, like if she doesn't care, about what the public says, why would she spend all of her time and energy to make a post in defense of herself? So Jamie Lynn's response to me falls flat, knowing that she tried to transfer money out of this trust last fall and really didn't do it after the public caught wind of it. And now she is suddenly pro Britney, but it's okay if you know Britney goes to a jungle and has kids. It really doesn't make any sense. So obviously the family's in a tough situation, but the family has also been profiting off of Brittany for years and to which I say, Brittany still needs to be free. So Sam Ingham, get your butt moving, file that termination for a, uh, file the termination to end this conservatorship and stop stealing money, in my opinion, from your client, along with Jamie, Lynn, and everyone else involved. All right, you guys, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.